To create a new report, go to the Reports menu and click Create Report. For the report type, obviously we will pick Pixel Perfect. The app that we are choosing is an end printing app uh, inside which I have already associated the ClickSense Executive Dashboard as a connection and loaded all the metadata into it. Uh, and then we will start with an empty file, but if we do have in the future a pixel perfect template that includes things like corporate branding, uh, customized layouts, we can make that the starting point as well. So I will click on edit template and this will bring us into the end printing designer, the pixel perfect template editor, which is what we are all here to see. So as soon as that opens, I will pull that into the screen. So the first thing that we want to do is adjust some page settings that will be applied to the entire pixel perfect report. Now you can do this at any stage of the process, but it's probably best practice to do it up front. That way, as you size and position things, if you change the page layout down the line, that could have an impact on, on the desired location of that content in the report. So we'll start by clicking on this little triangle in the upper left-hand corner. And the first thing we will do is change the measure units to tenths of a millimeter. The next thing we want to do is adjust some of the page settings in the property grid, which is in the lower left-hand corner here of the designer editor. Uh, so let's start out by adjusting the paper kind, and we can adjust that from letter to something like A4. And we also want to adjust the margins. So we will change the bottom margin and shrink that just a little bit to 126. And then for the left and the right, we will use 150 for each. And then for the top, we will use 188. So the first thing we want to do now is to add content to our report. And to get a main title into the report, I can drag in the label, just drag and drop. So I'll just place it in the upper left-hand corner here. And the first thing I'll do is expand that so it covers the entire width of this section. I also want to change the height of this particular label. So we can go down here to size. And if I expand the size, the height I can change from 58 and we want to increase that to 130. And then inside, I can double click on the label and I can change it to the text that I want. And we'll call this Acme Executive Dashboard. And then I also want to make some adjustments to the font here. We're gonna increase the size from 9.75 to 30. And we're also going to change the color, the foreground color that is, uh, and we will create a custom color of our own, which can be used later on down the line. So we'll open up the color palette and pick one of the empty custom colors here. And for the red, we want this to be 95. For the green, we want this to be 96. And for the blue, we want this to be 98. We'll add this to the custom colors as this is the default uh, click dark gray. Uh, and then we can also set the alignment, which is also on this side as part of the uh, appearance section. So we want to change this from top left to top center. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is to add a subtitle. And again, we will do that using a label. So let's just drag and drop. And we want to line this up with the upper left corner of the title that we just created. Uh, we'll give this a name of revenue target. And then let's do some formatting the same way we did for the main title. Uh, this time we will change the font size to 12 and we will use the same foreground color as we just created. So we'll go to custom and we have the click dark gray already included in there. And then we want to change the size as well. So let's go all the way down, expand the size here. We will change the height to 50 and the width to 800, 